Hi, I'm Dr. Atria, Studio Aesthetics, and today I'm going to field some questions that we frequently get asked by some of our patients about weight loss treatment with semaglutide. All right, so number one is, what does it feel like to be on semaglutide? Okay, the, the first thing you'll notice on semaglutide is that it suppresses your appetite. So you'll be eating a meal, and it'll be a regular size meal that you're used to eating, and you'll get about halfway through and realize that you're not hungry and you have no interest in eating anymore. So I remember I was at Timberwood Tap House, I was eating uh, Al Capone. I got about halfway through the burger, didn't touch the fries, and just said, you know what, I'm done. I'm not really interested in finishing it, pushed it away. And, and that's the big effect of some glue type. That's what, what's gonna make you effective, is really reducing those portion sizes. Another thing you're gonna notice is that it slows gastric emptying. So when you eat a meal, it stays for longer than it does normally. It actually helps you feel full for a longer period of time. Um, the last thing I've noticed, I've been on this for about 12 weeks now, is that the enjoyment you get from certain types of impulse foods, it's not there anymore. So I'm not a sweets person. I'm a salt person. I love Cheez-Its. I remember I had a handful of Cheez-Its. I ate a couple of Cheez-Its, and I just took no pleasure in it. I still love the snack, but it just, I didn't feel like I had to eat them all. I just put the rest back in my box. So those are the main things um, in terms of the, uh, what you're gonna feel when you're on some of treatment. Question number two is how much weight can I expect to lose? So if you look at the research that's out there, good randomized uh, placebo controlled studies looking at patients taking some of for 10 weeks, the average patient loses about 11 pounds. Um, about three quarters of that is fat, a quarter of that is muscle. If you're losing a lot more than that, you have to be careful because you're losing muscle. Uh, you can lose muscle in a ratio of 50-50 with fat, and that actually decreases your basal metabolic rate and how many calories you burn in a day, so you don't want to lose too much. Our patients typically lose between 10 and 17 pounds. We've had several patients in the last month lose 17 pounds in 12 weeks, and I also lost 17 pounds in 12 weeks, or I'm sorry, 10 weeks. Okay, question three. I've been on semaglutide for four weeks and haven't lost any weight. Is that normal? That is completely normal because you're at the lowest dose and you're the, the, you want to take time for your body to adjust to that dose because one of the side effects of semaglutide is nausea. And it's a bit of a misnomer calling it a side effect because how much nausea you feel on semaglutide is telling you how effective it is. So you want to start, there's an FDA recommended dosing schedule where you start at a lower dose. Usually at 10 units, which is the starting dose, you don't feel much of an effect, you don't lose much of your weight. The weight loss that you get, 10 to 17 pounds over 10 weeks, that tends to happen from weeks 5 to 10. All right. Question number four. I'm having significant nausea and vomiting. Is that normal? That is not normal because, like I said in the last question, the nausea is telling you how effective the medication is. So if you're having significant nausea five times a week, if you're vomiting, that's not normal. And there's a couple of different things you can do. You can back off on the dose. So if you're taking 40 units, you can back off and go to 30 units. If you're supposed to go up on the dose, don't go up. You know, if you're at 40 units, you're supposed to go to 70 units, stay at 40 units. There are several different things you can do. And what we try to do is titrate our patients to be nauseated um, maybe two times a week, about 15, 20 minutes each time. So if you're getting significantly more than that, we should back off on the dose. And if you're getting uh, none of the nausea, we need to escalate the dose more quickly. All right, question number five. I've been on it for six weeks. I haven't lost any weight and I haven't felt any nausea. Is it working? So that's a, a great corollary question to the answer I just gave. Um, it's not as effective as it can be. So we want you to have some nausea a couple times a week. That's telling you the medication's working. If you're not feeling the nausea, you may be one of those people who's less sensitive to it and we need to escalate the dose more quickly. So we gotta, we, you know, if you're in that situation, we need to escalate your dose to the point where you're feeling nauseated a couple times a week and that's when you're gonna notice the appetite suppression and see the weight loss. All right, question number six. What if you're ready to stop? So you don't wanna just start stop this medication cold turkey. You wanna taper off, so you really gotta plan ahead. Um, the other thing that's great about this medication is all those bad habits that you developed when you gain weight, you know, eating late at night, eating right before you go to bed, eating bad food. What semaglutide lets you do is break those habits. You know, you get out of those bad habits. Once you're off the semaglutide, your hunger cravings are gonna come back, and that's why it's really important to understand what makes the diet effective. It's, understand to have, it's important to, to have a good exercise regimen, and maintaining that dietary discretion and regular exercise is what's gonna keep that weight off when you come off a semaglutide. And 
to, to remember about semaglutide is something you can be on indefinitely. It's also something that you can stop for several months and come back to, but really it's a kickstarter to get you on the right track, develop the right habits, and then allow you to be able to maintain the weight loss on your own. All right, and the last question, how do I maintain my weight loss? It's, it's, it's the same strategy that works in everyone for the last hundreds of years. It's diet and exercise and, and being smart about what you eat. Um, you know, I don't think people need to track their macros and track their calories and work out a certain number of times a day, but it's whatever works for you. So, you know, in the 10 weeks that you're on round one of some glutide, you should be learning a lot more about diet. You should be learning a lot more about exercise and committing to more exercise. Uh, one of the things we learned early on is that our patients have better results when you incorporate that diet education in the exercise. So that's why we have a dietitian on staff now and we offer some of the type patients to meet with that dietitian at the beginning and at the end so that they can learn the good habits and they get a good strategy for transitioning off of some of the And we also have a partnership with ACIC with their prep program where you can go in for 60 days, get support by a trainer, get biometrics done, get follow-up and learn how to be effective when you work out. Thank you, Dr. Eatree. That was helpful. All right. Take care.